Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we try to see how to measure humidity and temperature by using a digital humidity temperature that is DHG11 sensor daughter board with the Arduino you know board friend. So the if you can uh, see the uh, daughter board so here it is containing the three pins, one is a ground, another one is a data, another one is a VCC. The VCC here we are using the 5 volts friends. The humidity is the measure of a water vapor present in the air. So that is the definition and the range it is nothing but the relative measurement varies from 20 to 80 with 5 percentage of accuracy. The temperature range of an, this sensor board is 0 to 50 degrees Celsius with a 2 degree of an accuracy friends. So this how to interface and we try to see how to measure the values. So now let us see the code friends. Hi friends, I have opened the Arduino IDE. Now let us go to the sketch and include library so if you can go to the manage libraries go there and search for an dht11 and enter and the example will be a given here friends so now there is a header df robot underscore dht11 so this header if you can see there is a class and the class is having a two functions one is temperature and another one is humidity and this one uh, uh, in the set of function we can say serial dot begin now i am changing into the 9600 baud rate for the convenience and the digital pin whatever the pin D out that is a single wire communication from the DHT11 sensor board you have connected give that number so I am using the same pin that is a 10 and so here uh, I was uh, using this code and I was uh, making the compilation verify and compile and you can see it is compiled successfully now I am uploading or flashing the code now it is successfully flash now going on to the tool and you can see the serial monitor and now i'm changing 9600 as a board rate and you can see the temperature is a 34 it is a centigrade and humidity is 47 so now uh, let us see uh, how this code internally is working on now again uh, I'm closing here and uh, do not save and I was going on to the uh, here the same library and you can see the more info uh, if, if you can uh, see it over here and you can identify we have entered into the uh, github where this uh, source code it has been there and uh, before understanding this one let me give some inputs how serial communication is working communication it will work with as a start pulse you can see it over here which the Arduino should drive the D out 18 milliseconds as in a low then 40 milliseconds as in a high then it has to wait for the response the response the sensor daughter board it has to give that mean on the pin it has 54 microsecond it has to be low then followed by as an a 80 microsecond as an high so this is the start pulse which is triggered by the Arduino and make the same pin as an input wait and see this kind of a pattern is observed on the on the pin on the D out the single wire communication pin so this is the start and this is the response and after that the data is coming so the data will be we are getting as in 40 bits so whether the bit is 0 or 1 given by like this the 54 microsecond it has a low 
and 24 microsecond is a high which is represented as in a digital zero the 54 microsecond as a low and 70 microsecond as high is represented as in a digital one so even though the low time is same but the high time is deferred 24 microsecond is represented as a bit zero and 70 microsecond as high represented as in a digital one like this we try to get it as a 40 uh, bits so in other words we can say 5 bytes friends now let us see after sending the 40 bits it try to send end of the frame means 54 second as a low and after that one it will try to pull that line as a high now let us see the data frame is to the data frame is a 40 bits long and it contains 5 segments the 5 segments is nothing but the 5 bytes each segment is 8 bits long the first 2 segments or the first 2 bytes represent the humidity value in a decimal integer form so it will give us a relative percentage humidity the first 8 bits represent the integer part the next 8 bits represent the fractional part in this code, we are ignoring the fractional part. The next two segments, that is next two bytes, contain the temperature value in the decimal integer form. It also gives us a temperature in a Celsius format. The last segment is the checksum, which will hold the checksum of the first four segments. That is nothing but the first four bytes, friends. Now, let us see the code how they have implemented so now again i'm coming back to the arduino and again i was going on to the sketch and include library and manage libraries and i was going on to the dht11 and searching and coming back to here and go here more info now you can uh, see the df robot underscore dh11.cpp so here if you can come down and this part of an code if you can see uh, this part of an code is nothing but as an a start res, uh, start start of the frame which is triggered by the arduino and uh, this part of an code if you can uh, see it this is nothing but the response from the sensor data board. This 40 bits, which is nothing but the data which we are receiving in the single wire. And finally, we are saving into the humidity and temperature. In the initial uh, things I have told, uh, temperature and humidity are the functions. I'm sorry, they are the members, not the uh, functions. They are the, sometimes we can say they are the variable. And this entire thing, this df robo underscore dht11 is nothing but the a class. So we are going to use this is a class instance in our program. Hope you understood the single wire communication and uh, you have seen the demo. Now let us come back again onto here and we can uh, see it. Now I was uh, closing this to the side and i was uh, flashing the code and and i was opening the uh, serial monitor uh, i'm opening the serial monitor and now again you can see the temperature is 34 and humidity is 46 hope if you like my content if you like my presentation please share subscribe to our channel that will help me allow to grow the channel Thank you friends. Bye.